पांचाकल्पतरुभ कृपा सिंधु भयच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम पंचतत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तूपस्वरूपक भक्ता भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति नमो महावदाननाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय थे कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गौरुत्से नम so today's topic uh especially if we if we look uh at our uh, audience from india in india the the uh, karma yoga is very very uh you can say attractive and and people think that that is the surest path uh to divinity because if you work perfectly then somehow or other that will be the path to divine uh so here we find that uh, a sincere question has been put to gurudev shila govind maharaj and by his grace it has been recorded that interaction in the transmission and the reception and so we have access to it and we are going to uh read it carefully and then uh see how we can benefit so if i have your permission then i can begin so where i'm beginning i'll tell you this is chapter 8 of affectionate guidance that's what i'm reading from uh so the devotee is the devotee is asking in shrimad bhagavad gita krishna has explained about karm yog can karm yog ever be seva or devotional service shila govind maharaj karm and seva action and divine service are identical from the external perspective bhakti yog and karm yog are the same apart from one thing and that is the inner mood of the practitioner the inner intention is the all important differentiating factor what result is going solely to the lord and not to the jiva soul that is called bhakti yog when all of one's work will be accredited in the account of krishna then that is bhakti yog and when the result of one's work is credited to the account of that jiva soul then that is karm yog it is very simple yat karosh yad ashnas yad johos dadas yat yat tapasasi kaunte tad kurushva madarpanam this is bhagavad gita chapter 9 verse number 27 whatever you will do for me you will not be responsible for any reaction you accrue from that karma is giving reaction newton's third law is that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction many of newton's laws have been disputed and even broken dandava tarun krishna prabhu but this law still exists unchallenged it is not only newton's law but it is the law of the gita of the vedic scriptures we are living within the plane of exploitation otherwise no reaction could come that is we are exploiting and exploited within this plane 
And so reaction is always coming to us. Once, just after the war of Kurukshetra, a rishi from near Kashmir named Utanka came before Krishna with a view to curse him. You are the cause of the violence in Kurukshetra. If you had wanted to, you could have easily controlled the situation and prevented it, but you did not. Now millions of women have been widowed as a result of that battle, and I cannot tolerate to hear them cry. You are the cause, and so I shall curse you. This is the Rishi emoting to Lord Krishna. So we'll see. Krishna smilingly replied, O oh, Rishi, please give a little hearing to me. You have amassed so much subtle power through your austerity, your tapasya, but that will be useless if you throw your curse upon me. I am existing in the plane of Nirguna, the non-material plane, so your curse will not touch me. All your austerity, tapasya, everything you have acquired, it is all within this material world. It may reach up to the highest plane of this world, Brahmalo, but it cannot touch my position. It will be futile and you will lose everything. So I advise you not to curse me. Please heed my advice to you. I am giving you the knowledge so that you will see who I am. Then with folded hands, that Rishi took shelter of Krishna. Now I can see. And you have saved all of my tapasya. That is the plane of Nirgun. And playing there is devotion, the service world. There are three planes, the plane of exploitation, the plane of renunciation, and the plane of dedication. Who is wholeheartedly serving Krishna, he is living in the plane of dedication. He is not responsible for the results of his own activity. Yet he is happy with his activities because he is trying to satisfy his Lord. And the Lord is living within the Nirguna plane. So the reactions are not coming to the devotee. I often give the example of a policeman or military man. During war, a soldier may kill hundreds or even thousands of other people, but the responsibility for that must come to the government. So no reaction will come to that man. Any reaction will come to the government. Similarly, a police officer may sometimes kill a criminal who is trying to apprehend him. Again, the reaction must come to the government. If through his work anything wrong has happened, then compensation will be given by the government, not from his salary. This is the example. If we offer all our activity for the service to Krishna, then that is Bhakti Yoga. All result will go to Krishna and it will not come back to me. Otherwise, if we are doing karma, following karma yoga, then some reaction will also come to us. It is nature, otherwise the universe would not function. And that is true not just of this universe, but all universes. 
when we examine this universe, we are amazed. And we think that there cannot be anything more than this. But it is not so. The Rishis have seen that like this universe, millions of universes are existing and floating in the river of Viraja. This universe has 14 levels. The upper levels begin with Bhu, Bhava, Swa, Mahar, Jana, Tapo, and up to Sattalo. And downwards, there are Tala, Atala, Vitala, Nitala, Talatala, Mahatala, and Sutala. And like this, millions of universes are floating within the ocean of Viraja. Virajara pare shuddha paravyo madham tada upari shri gokula vrindaranyanam Crossing over the Viraja, there is Brahma Lok, the effulgence of Vaikuntha Lok, paravyo. Brahma Lok means no man's land. Equilibrium. Uh, or abscissa, what is that? A-B-S-C-I-S-S-A, what do you call that? Abscissa. Abscissa. And crossing that, we can enter the Paravyom Dham. But first, we must obtain a visa. Without the correct visa, no one can enter another country. We may obtain a passport from the Mahamaya here, or by the grace of Lord Shiva. He has that power. But that will be useless if you cannot get a visa from the Vaikuntha Lok. Vaikuntha is existing within the plane of dedication. And who is fully dedicated, he can get that visa. And even after entering that plane, many inner divisions exist for which you need further inner visas if you want to go there. Sankarshana Baladev, he is the visa officer there. Sankarshana is the master and Yogmaya is the mistress there. All activity is through the agency of Yogmaya and the necessary power is coming from Sankarshana. Yadyapi astaj nitya chit shakti vilas tathapi sankarshana ichaya tahar prakash. This is Chaitanya Charitamrita Maddhalila, chapter 20, verse number 257. So now, Guruji, yes. Guruji, I have a question. Uh, which book are you reading? And approximately what year was this conversation going on? So the book is Affectionate Guidance, chapter number 8. Before we began, I had said this, and then let me see the year. I'm not sure about the year. Chinmay Prabhu, would you remember the year this was published? Uh, sorry, Prabhu, I don't know, but okay. maybe afterwards I can tell you. Yeah, this is the reason I'm asking, Prabhu is what Guru Maharaj is saying. It's Gurudev. Oh, this is Guru Dev. Yes. Okay. Because the, the notion of multiple universes to be recognized by today's material scientists mm -hmm. is, re re is a recent concept mm -hmm. in the last uh, 20 years. I think it is within 20 years this okay. book has been published. 2004, the book says. 2004. Okay. And and of course, references to all the multiple universes, the reach of the universe, the dimension. It's so beautifully explained and compatible with even the most skeptical materialist today. I just wanted to point that out. Absolutely. I, I totally agree with you. <clears throat> so just, just an ontological point. Uh, Viraja is a river... Or the area separating the spiritual world from the material world. Yes. But he's saying that the universes exist in Viraja. Mm -hmm. 
So how they're, then is there a so difference between? So they're floating in the you can say causal ocean, okay. and that that it is. So water emulates that substance. So it is water-like, just like Brahma Jyoti is like light that we see here, but it is not this. Namaskar Anil Ji. So one way to see that would be like a bubble that is flowing in a river, and that that bubble is like a universe. So you can say that river kind of demarks, or it's a demarcation point. That from from this point on, uh, the uh, spiritual world starts yeah. like that. Just to bring it within our uh, sphere of understanding, if that makes sense. So because Mahavishnu is reclining on the causal ocean, and and then that that ocean has all these. Uh, universe is floating. So now a devotee is asking a question again. The devotee is asking, a brahmachari who lives in the mutt of the mission is in a very safe position because everything he is doing is seva for the mission. But the grahastha ashram but in the grahastha ashram, we are doing so much karma. So how can we be safe in our spiritual life? Srila Govinda Maharaj. It is not always true. The brahmachari may be living in the mud, but he may be true. That may be true externally, but that brahmachari may really be living in Narak. in hell. Similarly, one may be living in the Grasth Ashram, but he can be residing in heaven. It is only dependent on the inner mood. Taking the saffron cloth, doing some work in the mud, and maintaining the formality, that is not sufficient. The only thing sufficient will be the true mood of devotion. If there is the mood of devotion, then that is very nice. That is quality. Srila Guru Maharaj said we need quality and not quantity. You will see very few brahmacharis in Guru Maharaj's mud. They are coming and staying a few years maybe, but eventually they cannot remain. It is ultimately all depending on the mood mood of devotion or mood of emotion. If one is living in the mud only emotionally, never going to the deeper level, but only floating on the surface, then he will not get the proper result. And one grasta who can do uh, 100 times more service to Krishna through his genuine mood of devotion, but if one is living in the mud and doing 24 hours per day sincere service, then he must get the proper result. The substance is necessary and that is devotion. The word devotion is only applicable to a devotee. If one is a devotee, then we must consider that he has devotion. We may say he is a devotee and he is a devotee and she is a devotee. But that may only be an external identification. Devotion is the most valuable asset. One may be from the lowest caste, maybe a grasta or anything, but if he has devotion, then he must be the best of all men. In the Ramanuja Sampradaya, which is also existing within the devotional plane, there is a famous story. There was a devotee named Dhanudas. 
Das generally means a non-Brahman. But Ramanujacharya went to his house and accepted prasadam there. And because of his devotion, a representative from Vaikunthalok came to him and took him to that plane. This is not just a story, this is a fact. So we can understand that everything is depending only on devotion. Where there is devotion, there is no problem. And devotion has its base basis in strong faith. The first thing necessary is strong faith to Guru and Krishna. Otherwise, we cannot do anything for Krishna. We may do something, but that will have no value. We can do something only with heart, with affection and with love. And behind that must be strong faith. That is devotion. And that will give us hankering for Krishna whose qualities are unique and wonderful. The Jiva soul has 50 qualities in common with Krishna. In the first layer we are the same. Then the demigods have 55 qualities. Narayana has 60. Sankarsana Baladev has 62. And Krishna has 64 qualities. He is the origin of all, even of Narayana. In Sri Brahma Samhita, we find Iswara Parma Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadiradir Govinda Sarvakarna Karnam. He is the cause of all causes. It is proven there in Brahma Samhita. If you read Brahma Samhita, you will find that a very concise description is given in less than 100 verses the entirety of the Vaishnav theology is presented and above all you will find it is established that Sri Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead the Jiva souls are emanating from his marginal potency or Tathastha Shakti which means they can be attracted to either the mundane or divine world. Krishna's special qualification is that when the flute song of Krishna comes out, the whole universe is attracted. But if our ear is blocked with wax, <laughs> then we will not hear that. So first it is necessary to clean ourselves, then we can hear. Existing above the plane of Narayana is Krishna Lok. And there four qualities are playing in an unparalleled way. Sarvabhuta Chamatkara Leela Kallol Varidhi Atul Madhura Prem Mandita Priya Mandala Trijagan Manasa Karshi Murali Kala Kujita Asaman or Dva Rupa Shri Vismita Vis Vis Vismapita Charachara. This is Bhakti Rasamrata Sindhu. There the play of Krishna with the Braja Gopis and the Braja Balaks, cowherd girls and boys and others is going on in the sweetest way. In Vrindavan Dham, where there is Govardhana, the Yamuna and the twelve forests, the sweetest varieties of play are going on day and night. Brahma himself was stunned to see those pastimes of Krishna. He could not understand who was this boy playing in Vrindavan. He thought, this is not my creation or maybe I created this and have forgotten. In this way he was perplexed. 
And so he stole all of Krishna's cows and cowherd boyfriends and kept them hidden in a cave. After one year, he returned to see the result. He was astonished. Everything was going on just as before. At first he thought that the cows and cowherd boys must have escaped from the cave. They must have escaped. But when he checked, he found they were all still there as he had left them. In mystic slumber, then he was astounded. He could not fathom how the play of Krishna is floating in this way. And he submitted a very nice shloka which is found in Srimad Bhagavatam. Janantayev Janantokim Bahuktayana me Prabhu Manaso Pusho Vacho Vaibhavam Tabagochara. This is Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, 14th chapter, verse number 38. Whoever will say that they know your glories, they can say that. But my confession is that I cannot understand you at all. You are simply beyond the reach of my body, mind and words. And do you know who's saying this? Lord Brahma. This is Sarvabhauta Chamatkara Leela Kallola Varadhi. His wondrous pastimes. And those who are in his association, they are Atulla Madhura Prema Mandita Priya Mandala. His companions are always playing in the mood of Madhura Rasa. There, nothing bad can exist. Krishna is the only enjoyer and he can enjoy with everything. He enjoys the love of the Paramar and there in that transcendental abode that has the topmost position. Those who have the very sweetest ecstatic love in their hearts, the boy and girl friends, those types of friends are always playing with Krishna. He is the enjoyer and they are the suppliers of that enjoyment but peculiarly they in turn feel more joy within their hearts than even Krishna is feeling why in this mundane world we can see this principle also many will like to eat but they are but there are some who like to feed others and they feel more pleasure doing that than being fed. When they are cooking and feeding others, giving happiness to others, their happiness is greater than those being fed. When they see the happiness of those they are feeding, they are getting double happiness. Similarly, the devotee wants to satisfy Krishna. And when Krishna is satisfied, then the devotee is doubly satisfied. And Krishna embraces that devotee. And he is Asamanoradda Rupa Shri Vismapita Charachara. What kind of sweet person is Krishna? When he sees his divine form reflected in the mirror, like a madman, he wants to embrace that. His beauty is so intense that even he cannot understand that it is a reflection. From this, we can get some idea, some idea of the kind of beauty found in him. And when the gopis are getting his embrace, how much happiness they are experiencing, we simply cannot say. This is the super love relationship with Krishna. And Trijagan, 
मानसा करशी मुरली कलकूजित द होल यूनिवर्स इज अट्रैक्टेड टू मुरली द फ्लूट ऑफ कृष्णा फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम कृष्णा फ्लूट द फर्स्ट साउंड द प्राइमिवल ओम वॉज हर्ड बाय लॉर्ड ब्रह्मा hearing that he was intoxicated he tried to meditate on that and through his meditation came the kaam gayatri by the grace of divya saraswati this is all explained in shri brahma samhita happily i can recommend that you try to read this book Do you know which book he is talking about? Shri Brahma Samhita. Some of the inner meanings are hard to understand both in Bengali and the English. If you understand the original Sanskrit then maybe you will get a little better understanding. But the Bengali commentary is difficult to fully understand. That is because the masters when they are giving the explanation of the shlokas they do so with full guard so that the meaning will not be adulterated so four unique qualities exist in that special plane of vrindavan the plane of dedication that is called vraja dham the word vraja is a verb an action it means to dive deep into the reality that's what raja means sarva dharman paritajya maam ekam sharanam raja aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha shyam ma sucha shrimad bhagavad gita chapter 18 verse number 66 in the last chapter of bhagavad gita krishna says o arjuna what more can i say to you you are my dearest friend and so i am now imparting to you my most affectionate advice you please consider it i have told many things to you from the first to this last chapter and that is sufficient to understand the nature of the truth of course some further question may come later but now it is not necessary for you to know more only what i will tell you now please give your full attention to that whatever you know as religion i am telling you to leave that and dive deep into the plane of reality come to me in raja this means that whatever our conception may be that must necessarily be useless in the ultimate analysis we have come to deal with the infinite with our finite understanding if we say it is unlimitedly big then how much can we conceive of big like the sky but how much can we see of the sky perhaps 2 miles not much more than that and if we say it is unlimitedly small then how much small can we conceive to the atom but the upanishad says anoraniyan mahatovayan he is smaller than the atom and there he can exist with his full power he it is inconceivable and so mahaprabhu has said achinta bheda bhed siddhant the perfect conclusion is that the lord and the individual jiva souls are simultaneously and inconceivably similar and different this is the conception of sri chaitanya mahaprabhu you cannot conceive of the absolute through your mind 
and intelligence. Mental power is the highest in this mundane world. The mind can move faster than the ether, but that is also useless to approach him. He is a chinta. Achintya kalo ye bhava na tam satarkena yojjayit prakratebhya param yacha tad achintasya lakshanam bhaktira samata sindhu that which is of the nature of the absolute is called achinta or inconceivable reason can only comprehend what is of the mundane nature so do not try to control what is inconceivable within your knowledge your mental power it is beyond your reason that is the achinta shakti of Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai Om Paramhansa Parivadakachar Rastotra Shata Shri Srila Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. So now I want to hear something from Anilji what you feel like what you heard anything anything that you want to say please go ahead. I uh I joined late, right? But uh, I joined at the very crucial thing which was going on. They were, uh, you were telling about a story where the devotion or the practice of a, 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 a devotee, right, who is there, who is physically there and who appears to be to the to this world that he is uh, he is the was one of the greatest devotee. His his actions were compared against those persons who were not there in that that in, that environment. He was just simply enjoying the world and doing the uh, duty but the devotional attachment was compared and the summary which was very nicely said that even though if you, you are work, doing your duty you are an aggressed ashram but if your devotion is up to that level which is required for that then you are still better than those sadhus right who was not who are just doing it uh, just by uh, superficial right just making sure that they are doing it and they are their work is getting acknowledged, right? Very and nothing more than that. Very so nice. So I tag that point, right? And, and that is what I think it should be. Beautiful. But, uh, yeah, in reality, anything is, we have we see that it is going south, right? But this is the actual direction of being north, right? Very nice. Your in inner sense should be pointing to the correct point. Yes. And of what you are doing, right? Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you for sharing, Anilji. Anyone else wants to share like what they felt about something that stood out to them from uh, Srila Gurudev's uh, talk, um, what we read? Always inconceivable for me to, to really get that insight and brilliance. Uh, but, you know, the the knowledge of the truth coming from him was that's wonderful. And amongst all the things that were said, there are people, for example, again I'm talking with reference to the material scientists or the so called educated people today. Mm-hmm. The the notion of Anu as as was read out in the verses from these ancient scriptures, this is clearly an indication of the knowledge of atom people have thought is, oh, it all, it, the, the knowledge of atom really started from some ideas from the Greek philosophers and some modern ideas in the last, you know, four or five centuries. But this clearly is an indication that that knowledge has existed for, for extremely long time. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Very nice, Arun Prabhu. Anyone else anyone else wants to uh, like say what they felt about what they heard from Gurudev? So 
thank you so much now what uh, our elite uh, sankirtan group the kirtan party is getting ready is ready so i'm going to take a couple of minutes set that up and we will be right back Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Gadadhara Shri Vasadhi Gaurvata Vrinda Shri Adaita Chan Gadadhara Shri Vashadi Gaurvata Vrinda Hari Haraya Namma Krishna Yadavaya Namma Hari Haraya Namma Krishna Yadavaya Namma Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridhari Gopinatha Madana Mohan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Rupa Sanatan Vatara Gunath Jaya Rupa Sanatan Vatara Gunath Shri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasara Gunath Shri Jiva Gopala Bhatta Dasara Gunath Echai Gosai Kori Charana Vandhan Jahavite Vignana Shabishta Puran Echai Gosai Jar Muitara Das Tasabara padare nu mora pancha gras. Tasabara padare nu mora pancha gras. Talera charana se vivakta sane bas. Talera charana se vivakta sane bas. Jana me jana me mora e abilas. Echai Gosai Jabe Raja Koila Bas Shri Shri Radha Krishna Nitya Lila Korila Prakash Anande Bolo Hari Vaja Vrindavan Anande Bolo Hari Vaja Vrindavan Shri Guru Vaja 
Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Hari Nam Sankirtana Kahe Narottama Das Hari Hara Elamma Krishna Yadavaya Namaha Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, Nitai Gora Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Nitai Gora Hari Bo. Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Dev Guru Dev Jaya Jaya Guru Jai Gauranga Sunda, Jai Gauranga Sunda, Jai Gauranga Sunda, Jai Gauranga Sunda. Jai Anybody wants to volunteer for Jai Dhani? No. Okay. I can see it. Okay. Yeah. Ta okay. Uh, take it away. <laughs> take it away. Jai. 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 Jai.
संगीता जी की जाए श्यामा जी की जाए अनिल जी की जाए श्रीपाद अरुण कृष्ण प्रभु प्रभु की जाए श्रीपाद अरुण कृष्ण प्रभु की जाए श्रीपाद चिन्मय देव प्रभु की जाए इलीट कीर्तन पार्टी की जाए और आबा जी की आबा देवी दासी की जाए नित्ताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बोल हरि 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 बोल हरे कृष्णा रामानंद प्रभु की जय 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 शी इज अमेजिंग हट गया धन्यवाद हरे धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सो लेट मी फिनिश दिस स्ट्रीम एंड देन आई विल बी राइट बैक होल्ड ऑन स्टॉप स्ट्रीमिंग एंड 